with film work, normally you would probably work at the studio. So, for example, with Alien, I was working at, at Fox in, in Los Angeles. Um, with Stanley Kubrick, I um, had to work up at his house at St Albans. With the Germans, I was working in Munich, which I absolutely loved. Um, with Dune, I worked in Paris, which of course I absolutely loved. Um, but then with Superman, because Pinewood Studios was quite near me, I actually worked from my house for that. So some film projects you can actually work at a distance and people talk to you and call you, blah, blah, blah. Or um, you, you work within the studio. It depends really on how much control or liaison they want. And um, in terms of you getting the brief and turning that, that brief into work, you know, what is it? Is it a similar process or...? Very much so. So, for example, when I worked with Stanley Kubrick on AI, he was still actually writing the film, uh, writing the story, so he would come in with literally a sheet of paper, which would be a particular scene or, or, or an item, and ask me to visualise it. Um, with Peter Brinkman on, on, on the Der Sturzflieger, they had specific situations, specific machines, things like that. So again, I worked very closely with them. With the Traveller books, they actually installed me in Wisconsin, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And again, worked very closely with the, the creative, the guy actually putting the whole thing together. But the producer was in California. And so are they showing you models or...? Um, are you Not necessarily. I mean, they, because I was a visualiser, a conceptizer, they would only vaguely know what they were looking for. So time and again, what they would actually do is to um, give you an overview of the whole situation and, and your input would depend very much on if they had a clear idea of what they wanted or so for example with Alien which was written by Dan O'Bannon and I think a chap called Ronnie Chousette I think um, Dan would come into the studios you know a lot and 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 you know motivate us and, and say what he had in mind and things like this and then um, with June Alejandro often used to sit in the room a bit like a schoolmaster you know it was sort of um, doing his little scene and everything, you know, so it's, uh, but then with Superman, which was very discordant, um, they didn't really know what they wanted, and I happily worked from home and would drive into Pinewood Studios, I think, once a week or something. Mm. Mm. Which way, which was your favourite film to work on? I think it has to be due because it was a life experience, I mean, you weren't just working on a film, you, you were sort of taking part in a we, we were, you know, Alejandro was, was trying to motivate us, like sort of samurai, if you like, you know, and there was a whole atmosphere. The studio revolved entirely around Alejandro's personality, and the atmosphere was quite different from if he was there to if he was not there. 